think there's a lot to miss. I mean, I think, you know, just this week in general, uh, I think I look at it in a, kind of just a different lens of uh, this is you know, the last of, of all these opportunities that I've had over the years. Um, you know, whether it's studying film, whether it's, uh, you know, going to practice, talking with media, uh, it, it's the last go around for all these things. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to soak it all up with, you know, my fellow seniors and with the rest of the team and, and you know, just try to enjoy every moment for what it's worth. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, I think it's hard to wrap it up in a, a word or a sentence uh, or even a, an essay at times with, you know, just uh, my career here. It, it, there has been ups and downs. There's been good times and bad. Um, no, but it's just been so much fun. Uh, I think that's the thing that I think overwhelms me in all of it is that uh, there's been so many fun moments and so many things that have truly been uh, a dream come true, something I've dreamed about since I was a little kid and, and got to live out for these last four years. Uh, it's just a crazy feeling that it's coming to an end. Um, you, know, it, you know, I've been saying it all year long that the time is ticking and, uh, you know, the clock is about to strike midnight on you know, my career and the rest of these seniors' careers here at, at Illinois. Uh, it's just a, a surreal feeling. What was the best moment? It's hard to describe. I, I think it's hard to put your hat on. I think the number one moment. I think, you know, for, for us, I think we always look back on the bowl victories as uh, you know, two of the biggest highs that um, you know we had here at Illinois. Um, you know, I think being the first uh, you know group of Illini to, to win back to back bowl games. Um, you know, just to share those experiences there on bowl trips or, or something that uh, we still tell stories about to this day and um, for years, um, you know, in the future, I'm sure we still will. Um, you know, but it, I mean, there, there's so many, I mean, to try to pick out one moment, uh, you know, in these last four and five years, uh, it's hard to do, but there's been a lot of good ones. When your playing days are over, what, uh, what might be ahead for you? Yeah, you know, been trying to figure that out, I guess, uh, you know, kind of all year, uh, I guess, technically all my life, um, you know, what, what will happen after football's over, and, um, you know, now it's becoming a reality here in uh, less than a week, so, um, I, honestly, I, I don't, I don't have, you know, one specific thing that I, I know I'll do, or one thing that, um, you know, I've got lined up by any means, but, uh, you know, I've been trying to reach out to you know this awesome network of uh, I guess Illinois faithful and uh, you know trying to figure out what that next step will be. I, uh, I know my whole life I've been the leader. My whole life I've been working with uh, you know with teams and you know with, with motivated people. So I you know I would hope it's something that, that I still get to feel those same feelings that uh, you know I've kind of felt all my life with, with playing sports and, and things like that. Um, you know, but, but I'm excited to see what that next step will look like. What about coaching? I don't think it would be coaching, uh, at least not on, not not on the college level, not right away. Um, I could see myself volunteering or doing something, maybe on a high school level or things like that. But uh, I think I've seen uh, over the years just you know how tough the coaching world is, how, what those hours look like, um, you know uh, how you know quickly people can be in one place and then have to be in another place. It, it, would, it would be a hard life to live. I, I think a lot more credit. Is, you know, goes to college coaches and, and all that they, you know, go through, all that their families go through, and I don't know if I'm necessarily uh, ready to do that to myself yet. Became the second player in school history to pass the 10,000 yard mark of your career. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's it's exciting. I think, um, you know, it's one of those things uh, when you start playing, you don't know, um, you know how the numbers are all going to sort themselves out and. Uh, you know where you're going to end up on you know certain record lists and, and things like that. Um, you know, but but obviously, uh, you know when you get to the end of your career, all of a sudden you, you start you know passing names on lists and you start uh, getting past big milestones and reaching the 10,000 yard mark. Uh, it, it means a lot. I mean, it, it it's, it's obviously you know as a quarterback you're not really doing a, a whole lot of that yourself. You've got guys blocking for you. You've got players catching passes and you know there's been so many people through the years that, that have done that for me it's just um, you know it's really a tribute to all the all the great players that I've played with and all that they've been able to do to, to help me reach a mark like that um, yeah but it, but it is cool it's something all for sure 
you know, be excited to look back on and tell my kids someday. And um, you know, uh, I'm sure they'll probably think it's a, a whole lot of yards. And no wonder when I'm not as athletic at that point, how the heck I even did it. So we'll see. You know who the other guy to do it was? Juice, yeah. Yeah, your predecessor. Just yeah, going exactly. way back to 2009. Just what do you remember from those days watching him play? And how much did you learn from him? And how much did that prepare you? No, it is cool. Um, you know, the, the, I, I guess in a sense, you know, you know, both of us were, you know, for the most part, four-year starters. Um, I think it's a tribute to Reggie Mitchell who, who recruited both of us. Um, you know, I think you know, for him to have recruited uh, the two, you know, the two only players in Illinois history to go over 10,000 10, yards, I, I think that's a big deal. He should be. I guess commended on that, um, you know. But having that and I guess back-to-back -back eras is something that's pretty cool. I definitely learned a lot from him. Um, definitely was excited to get the chance to be around him for a year while I was redshirting and, and kind of just see uh, all that it takes to be a quarterback um, in the Big Ten Conference. And uh, he was able to put up a lot of numbers here. And, and to say that I'm even, you know, in the same, you know. I guess categories as him on some of those numbers is, is an unbelievable feat. I think it's just it's cool that we know each other so well and that um, you know we both kind of established ourselves in the record books in the ways that we have. Uh, you know, I, I think it's just amazing. Um, you know, just just to be in that you know in, in that same breath as you know, all the great players that have you know gone over 10,000 yards. And obviously, there's only two in Illinois history, and to say that you know, we're the only two is, is something that's pretty cool. Oh man, uh, you know I, I think I'll remember most as a as a tight knit group that um, they just love love coming to work every day. I think for us it, it was just you know there's just been so much that, that we've gone through, so many ups and downs, and, you know different people, uh, you know just, just different circumstances and all types of things, and that you know we, we've stuck it out and stuck together uh, throughout all of it. I think it, it's just been. I couldn't have been surrounded by a better group of guys, and um, you know I think it's just it, it's crazy because you know it's sad to think you know that it's probably there's never going to be a time where we're all together in one place at one time. You know you, you hope for those things on reunions and things like that, but you know those those things are hard, and it's just sad to think that um, you know that uh, we won't have many more times like we had this week. Uh, I think I'll just miss all these guys, all their personalities, all the different things that they brought to the table, and. Uh, yeah, just trying to enjoy it and uh, soak up each memory that, that we get. How did you survive? I mean, there wasn't a lot of you guys there left in the senior class. How did you guys kind of make it through and stay so close? I think each other. Um, I think the guys that are left and the guys that, uh, you know, made it through um, and, you know, that are still here to enjoy these moments stuck together and uh, relied on each other because I, I can promise you, it, you know, it wasn't every day that we walked in feeling uh, great about what was going on. Great about uh, you know, what we had to do for the day. Um, you know, but ultimately, it, it was another guy that picked us up that day. Another guy that um, got us going. In. And I think uh, that that's exactly uh, what I've relied on. I think my whole time here. And I would say, you know, if you ask most of the seniors, that's exactly what they would say is that uh, you know we knew we had each other's back regardless of what was going on. We knew we wanted to be around each other and wanted to. Do everything we could for our brother to our left and to our right, and um, you know, that's exactly what I think this group represents. Kind of figuring that out right now, actually. Um, I think it'll be a, uh, I guess, a big discussion here. You know, in a week or so. I've always said that you know I'd never worry about it until after the, you know, after the season was up, and, and kind of figure things out at that point. But um, you know, I'll kind of be. I guess in the, in the weeks after you know the season's over, figuring out what exactly the next step, you know, you know what would make sense in that realm, and uh, you know what options there are in other realms. So, um, so yeah, I think it's still you know, pretty up in the air.